want to hear me record? I'm fixing the floor. And you got the thing stuck on my ass crack. And you're starting a recording. Actually, he want it. He want it this way. So just so you know, he want his ass to be in that kind of box. All right, we started because it's a... It's Tuesday and we need to do some cardio. You need to do some cardio. So join the Freak family for some cardio torture Tuesday. It's gonna be delicious, I promise. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start with quad stretches. Star Wars State Troopers. <laughs> Star Wars State Troopers are behind us. This is a comedy show. It's a, it's a live show. No, so it's a tragedy. Show. It's a drama show. It's, tra <laughs> it's a tragedy. <laughs> It's a, it's a horror show. We're doing a knee hugs. So pull those knees up towards your chest. Do two and two and quad stretches for two. Listen, we're going to warm up and we're going to be doing some fun cardio kettlebell. So stick with us, stay with us. Freak family, Tyson, the freak, the big freak is here. And Mitch, let's do alternating toe touches. Breathe out, extend for the hips. Deep breath in and exhale a few times. We're gonna get warmed up. And we're gonna stay low. And we're gonna alternate those arms. Legs are straight. I don't know what they're waiting for, but they gotta they gotta warm up. So now we're gonna do a straight leg crawl out. Straight leg crawl out. We're gonna drop those hips towards the ground. Look at the ceiling. Look at the sky. Blue sky today. Beautiful hundred degree weather. We're gonna crawl our hands back in, like straight, tap your toes, stand up straight. Let's do this again. Crawl out on the straight legs, it feels so good. Fix, flip your feet, look up at the sky, drop those hips, it feels good. Now, stay in a high plank position for me. We're gonna add that runner stretch, right leg goes to the side of your right hand. We're gonna keep that right hand close towards the hand. And we're gonna touch the elbow towards the ankle right now. Arm is parallel. You're gonna get that deep stretch right there. Now drop your back leg on the floor. Push your hips forward. We're gonna stretch the hip flexors. Feels super good. So push them forward and stay here for a second. Now let's reset. Lift that left leg off the ground. Let me reset yourself back to a high plank position. Left leg is forward. Left leg should be close towards your left hand. Hold that position for a second here. Now left elbow down, close towards the ankle. Don't, don't push it, just go with your own range of motion, but try to go as deep as possible. Now you're gonna drop that right knee on the floor. Lift yourself up and push your entire body forward. Just make sure that the knee is not going over your toes, okay? Now we're gonna reset again. Lift that right knee, step back, hold that plank position, jump out with your feet now, and we're gonna crawl our hands back as you're lifting your butt up towards the sky, touch your toes. You probably got already a little longer, a little warmer. So get yourself the kettlebell, guys, because that's what we're gonna do. Listen up. Before we start. Who was that? Before we start, I wanna teach you something with the kettlebell. We're gonna start with a swing. Just a nice loose swing with your hips. Kick those shoulders in. You're gonna be pushing your hips forward and the, the kettlebell will get the momentum of your hips, right? So this is how it's gonna look to the side. We're just gonna warm up the hips for a few seconds before we're gonna start with the shuffle walk. So train those hips for now. I want you to repeat that motion. Keep those shoulders in. Do not lift the kettlebell with your arms. If you're trying to do this, the kettlebell will point down. But if you're gonna try to move your hips, then the kettlebell will follow. The kettlebell should be an extension of your arm, never pointing down, okay? So this is rule number one. Now, <clears throat> the whole workout, we will be stepping with the kettlebell. This is going to be the motion of the workout. So I want you to make sure that you have enough space to do this walk, okay? The, there will be an exercise on each end of that, that kettlebell swing walk, okay? So brace yourself. We're gonna start with body weight, but keep the kettlebell for the walk. I'm gonna turn on the clock and we're gonna do this. Are you ready? 
I hope you are because it's a lot of to cover. We're gonna start with swing walk and a squat thrust on each end. Go! So we're gonna start with the swing walk. We're going to the right, guys. When you hit the end, you're gonna do a squat thrust. I'm not gonna go too far because I want you to see me. Just one squat thrust and then I'm gonna walk to the other side. So power your hips. Do just single squat thrust on each end. Just for now. You're gonna stand up, wrap that head off, and walk to the other side. Now we're gonna do a crawl out, so it's back to back. We're gonna start with the crawl out on each end, crawl back in, wrap that bell, and perform that walk. Crawl out on each end, so feet are wide. Crawl your hands out to a high plank position, crawl back in, wrap that kettlebell, and walk to the other side. If you have a lot of space, you can do a, a really nice walk. If you cannot, just do two steps. Now we're gonna do a high plank jacks. So we're gonna start with two jacks. Jump back in and back to the walk. Let's do this. We're going back to back. And on each end, you're gonna have two jet high plank jacks. Jump out with your feet, jump back in. Rock that kettlebell and walk. Let's go. Now we're gonna do a two half way squat thrust on the second one. You're gonna stand up and then you're gonna walk. So two times on each end without standing up. So high plank position, jump out, jump back in, jump out, jump back in. Now you're gonna stand up. Walk that kettlebell. Swing walk, guys, swing walk. You wanna get more of the body weight? Do a shorter walk. And time for a second, guys. This is just a warm up. Just to kind of get you going to understand how this walks, works, okay? So, loosen up those legs for a second. Prepare yourself. And let's get ready. So look, we're gonna go Back to back, two and two. So we're gonna start with a squat thrust. When I'm gonna call a switch, you're gonna do a crawl on each end. We are starting in a few seconds. Go! So, squat thrust. Do the walk. Squat thrust on each end. You can add push up if you want, just watch that pace. Because that kettlebell is standing right there. So you gotta place that kettlebell on the floor. Thrust and a full push up. We want to do a little bit more body weight. Do two squat thrusts instead of the walk. We do a crawl up right now. Go, crawl up. Push up on each end. Go. Fall back in. Get that kettlebell. You gotta walk. And again, you want to add a little bit of crawl up. Do two. Or do one. It's up to you. You're walking back and forth, go to the right, you go to the left. Pay attention because back to the squat thrust. Squat thrust, you're flowing. You're just flowing, you do not stop. Today, we're not using a heavy bell because it's gonna be a lot of this stuff, okay? A lot.
Swing it, swing it. Oh, this is just the beginning. Crawl out. You're doing a crawl on each end. So crawl that bell out. Do a push up. Are you guys going behind me? What's happening over there, Midge? Nice in.
Then you can stand up and walk. Feet are wide. in your pre-workout share what you're in your pre-workout guys now guys remember a lot of you you know as from physique and you think in terms of fitness but right now we have a new program that involves different type of coaching so if you've been struggling not only with your weight loss but with other aspects of your life this is the time to reach out to us so we can do a 20 minutes of evaluation if you're really a good fit for the program if what is really stopping you from achieving that weight loss or maybe the dream job or maybe just something else make sure that you're reaching to us because let me tell you you will not move forward to you actually hiring a coach or hiring someone that will keep you accountable and this is very very important to learn this and get to know this someone that will point things out to you so that's just on a break note but right now we're going back to the workout so swing and we're gonna perform on the end of the swing we just gonna perform a little jack so at the end we're just gonna do jacks so get ready, carry the kettlebell, just jacks, two on each end, and then swing walk, okay? We are starting now. We're doing a swing walk and jacks on each end. <coughs> so swing walk. You're gonna grab that bell, look right here, and you're gonna perform two. Feet are wide, and you're gonna go to the other side. Swing walk, and then again, two on each end. Now we're gonna do swing walk. Let's go on each end. You're gonna have a jack press. Two times. Walk, 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 walk. Jack press. Straight from that chest. Power, power, power. Now we're switching to jack press out. So out and then a walk. Pressing out so the kettlebell is out where your feet are wide. I'm not doing more because 
is I want to be able to jump with it without pushing on my lower back. I'm holding a weight. Now we're doing jack press up and a swing walk. Jack press up and a swing walk. Steve is doing just regular shuffle. He's more of the time, whatever he's doing, you can do this too if the swing walk bothers you. Okay? Back to your regular jacks on each end. So two jacks, swing walk, and two jacks. Power those hips. Super. How are we doing? Did you just smack your knee back? Yes. Awesome. I did. Just fantastic. Stretch your legs.
my transition here with my hands. Look right into the press, up and out. Two times, combo. We have one more full combo after that. Brace your abs on this out. Press your abs on the up. of two. Feet should be on fire. Feel it. My feet. From jumping. One more time. Out. That's it. How are we doing? Stretch out, stretch your calves. Stretch your hamstrings. You can stretch them. Awesome guys to see you here. This is great. I see you guys. So are you gonna be doing this workout now? Are you doing this workout? Are you gonna do this workout later? Alright, next group. Modification here, just stepping, 
can't jump. Okay? Right into the kicks. Four kicks. Holding the kettlebell right here. And going right into the swing. Drop that bell, kick it. Two, three, four. Guys, encourage your kids to work out, train with you. They're coming from school, they need some activity. And this was it, that was the intro, okay? So, now you know what to do, stretch your legs. You know how it goes. Now we're gonna put back together those two. So we're gonna do spiders and then high knees. Well, mountain climbers first and then high knees, right? So get ready. Mountain climbers and high, high knees is a combo. We're going. We are going. Well, remember, eight. It's eight. One, two, three, four, five. You should be pushing so hard that you want this break. Because your breathing is hard. That's the whole idea. That's the whole goal. So, if I don't talk that much, I'm pushing. You're pushing too, okay? Those are mountain climbers, white ones. And the kicks. 
So get ready. One more time. for that bell. camera on and we're gonna talk about it. So they better drink that, bring that water, right? All right. Stretch out. Next group. Well, this one will have the bells. The bells. Get ready. Power jack. Okay, 
and then the jump squat on each end. So, let's see if I need to flip up, please. Ready? Go. So, two half on each end, and then of course you're doing a swing walk. Two, two, swing walk. You wanna do more on each end? Go ahead. Jump, jump. Now they can, the kettlebell can touch the floor totally. Can go all the way down. Look at the handle. It's being flipped. Now I'm gonna go with the full power jack. Here, two times. And then this swing walk. Swing walk. Ah, legs on fire. Now we're gonna do jumps. Ready? One, two, then walk. Woo. Two, right? Oh, yes. Full. Full press, full press, don't no stop.
Which number is that? I don't know. What are we doing, Ticey? I don't know. You're not doing it? I am. I'm just doing it. So nobody knows what we're doing. Here's the coach. Full press. You should know. You should know. this whole workout so it's been it's been awesome any questions let me know Is already ripped. Yeah. See when you look at this. Didn't even think that this this hurts. Why? Because my body concentrated on the workout totally on getting those legs and quads burned. So let's do this. I need volunteers. Flutter kicks, your favorite. Ivanka, hit the clock. Number two. Go. Number two? Yes, 30 seconds. Sound. 
pressure on the right. So just hold that position here. And then you're going to switch. When you step forward with your right, push yourself forward. Squeeze the left glute. And then you're going to feel that stretch right here on the left side too. Okay? Okay. Now your cats. Of the toe roll, if you can. And again, guys, remember what I told you. And in the halfway through the session, there was like our break, breakthrough, breakthrough. And I hope it actually happened some kind of a breakthrough. Maybe you thought, oh wow, this is for me. This is great. This is the program that I'm looking for. That one on one, one on one coaching, one on one coaching with a coach to keep you accountable, so you can change something in your life. Hi, Maggie. Send us direct message. Make a comment on this video. Or schedule your free consultation. The form is attached. You can just click on the link and schedule your 20 minutes call so we can find out if you are a good fit for the program, if this is something that really this is what we need, okay? So again, click on the link and and I hope to see you guys soon on another workout with us just stay tuned because we we post the workouts join us work out with us at high intensity right here the link will be attached i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for joining today i hope you had a great workout talk to you soon no excuses <laughs>